What's good y'all? Today we're back with another comparison video. This one is going to be the Dark Knight Tumblr versus the classic TV series Batmobile. I figured with the release of the new Batman movie and how much I loved it, I would compare these two. Categories we're going to be going off of are looks, minifigures, displayability, and value. Let's hop right into it. So first off, we're going to start with the looks of the Tumblr. So first off, this looks a lot better than the UCS ones in my opinion, or the bigger versions, whatever you want to call them. Just because it's a pretty simple scale, there's nothing too crazy about it, and they did a really good job of making the really tiny details pop. The front looks pretty nice, there's a nice little sticker in the middle. The hood is just about as good as you can get. Side view, pretty nice there. Once again, sorry, this is kind of tough because it's a black vehicle on a black desk. The tires are very nice. You, they have two on each side, obviously, because it's a tumbler. Exhaust is pretty nice. I think you can attach a flame piece there if you'd like to. These top parts are very nice. And I love, I love the way that it's angled on this side here. As you can see, it's kind of inward just a little bit, but that makes it look even better. So I'm gonna give the looks of the tumbler a nine and a half. Now the looks of the classic series Batmobile are a little bit worse, but I do think it stands out really well. You have a nice stand there, and you have nice, nice red lining going across like the bottom of it and stuff. I think that makes it pop with the black very well. I don't really know about this gold grill piece there. The red light is cool. The back of it's actually pretty cool. Um, I think they did a really good job of like making this the best they could and as accurate to the show as they could. Um, not a lot of stickers, but when they're used, they're used pretty nicely. This is a pretty well-rounded vehicle and I'm going to give it an eight on looks. In terms of displayability for the Tumblr, I wouldn't say it's as good as the looks because it's pretty square it doesn't fit in with too much stuff. If you have like a white shelf that's pretty wide, perfect for this, but I have a black desk which is tough and I have dark blue walls around my room which makes it kind of tough to see sometimes. But it still looks amazing because it's really iconic. So it's not like anything crazy, but it's not anything horrible. So for that reason, I'm going to give the displayability of the tumbler an eight. Now the displayability for this Batmobile, on the other hand, is a lot better because it was basically built for displayability because you have the stand. And there's also the option to have it off the stand, which looks like this, which is still awesome. So this combined with the stand, I think just really, really ramps up the displayability and it looks really, 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 really good with anything else. It matches really well with a lot of stuff that you can have because black and red always goes together no matter what. So this has a bit better displayability than the tumbler, so I'm gonna give it a nine. Next we have the minifigures for the Tumblr, and these I think are very accurate to the movie because you have a nice scarecrow with a pretty accurate mask and the strap coming down off his torso is also very accurate to the movie. And then you have a nice Batman, no leg printing, but that's okay, it's a cheap set, so I understand why they put no leg printing in there. Just plain old Batman, but I think it's really nice. I love the belt there, it matches really well. So simple Batman, unique scarecrow, nothing like amazing, but I do really, really like them. So I'm gonna give the minifigures for the Tumblr a nine. Then the minifigures for the Batmobile. The Joker is almost a copycat from what we saw in the Batcave classic series from a while back, but the smile's a bit different, I believe. It still just looks amazing. That pink with the green hair just matches perfectly. The Batman is also very nice. You have good length printing, a nice cape, great torso, interesting cowl, and a cool face because it kind of matches the personality that Batman had. These are two pretty well-rounded figures. Um, accessories, nah. Nothing crazy, it's just an obvious battering. But I think the detail on both of these and the fact that they both have leg printing, I'm gonna have to give these a 10. Then the value for the Tumblr. This one has the same amount of minifigures as the Batmobile, but it's a higher price tag and the price per part ratio is not as good. Comes with around 440 parts. You get two minifigures with no leg printing, but you get a really, really nice build. Some interesting parts, but they're mostly black parts. Not a lot of stickers either. Minifigures are nice, build is nice, displayability is nice, but I don't see a lot of value unless this set just skyrockets when it retires and I have no idea if it will or not. It's obviously gonna go up, but it just depends how much it's gonna go up. And because of that fact, I'm not sure sure about how high I could put the value, but I know that I can put it at a decent level, so I'm going to give this an eight and a half. Now onto the value of the Batmobile. So for $30, it's the price tag on the set, you get two minifigures and the Batmobile along with its stand. It comes with 345 parts for 30 bucks, which is a pretty decent price per part ratio. There's not too many crazy parts, there's a couple unique stickers. Nothing too crazy, although this is going to be probably worth something eventually if the set goes up. So I think the two minifigures are very nice for a $30 set, honestly. So this is one that I'd buy like over a lot of other $30 sets that are out right now. Definitely recommend getting this one because it's really, really nice value. So I'm gonna give this a nine and a half on value. Now the all important question, which one of these is better? If you've been doing your math, you know which one it is. So the Tumblr is pretty good. 
you know, you get a nice build, decent value, great minifigures, decent displayability. This one ended up with 35. The Batmobile, you get really nice minifigures, good build, great value, nice sticker, obviously, great details. And the Batmobile got a 36 and a half. So the classic TV series Batmobile is, in my opinion, better than the Tumblr, although the Tumblr is very nice, don't doubt me on that. These are two amazing sets. I'd recommend buying both, but first, the Batmobile. All right, y'all, that was my comparison of the Tumblr and the Batmobile. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.